Previously on... Uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm kind of a dog person, yeah? Certain words or phrase. Is that why you meant before? My need to work within constraint, yes. Much of a standard vernacular has. Fallen prey to blight, being ejected from my jargon, if you will. Yeah, l- like what? The one I just attempt to say. What, what, magic? You definitely used it before. That is where I must redirect your attention to turn a phase. I've become well acquainted with my Thoris and navigating alternate phases. He neglected to place a similar embargo on most synonyms, like, because he didn't think to learn them. He? He who? What? He who? Uh, what? 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 What was that? What? The breath is strangled from him like a pair of violent hands squeeze around his neck. He coughs and clears his throat, determined to finish. Ahem. Who? Ahem. Confounded me. Bedeviled me. Left me. Opposite of blessed. I don't suppose I should be surprised that worked. What? What? So you are cursed. Wait. Who could do that? Uh, Why? To answer would run me through the corrode barbs by which I am bound. I regret that cinnamons and superfluous, superfluous diction only accomplish so much. But I am capable of discussion pertaining to the how. That, my dear, is why I called you here. Hey, wait, is this guy also the one that cursed everyone else? Well, no. So, it, it was you then? Anger boils up my gut. Why am I even fucking here? All this time. I was so sure it was him. And the second I gave him the benefit of doubt, I pushed the place away and moved to get up. He wrapped his long fingers around my wrist and hold me in place. What? Avery, please wait. I would not have done it if I didn't believe it was necessary. He stares into my eyes. I see fire, ice, desperation. What? So... Bruh! That's so weak! The arcane world is rifled with danger. Newbie killers who annihilate adepts and fletching for sport. He is one of them. Once he set his sight on this cafe, I had to do something. So you turned them into cats? What? To other users, they appeared quite like familiars. It's a simple disguise. A mere glamour. What? What? I don't buy that for a second, boss! Perhaps not, but you are not these pro- prospective killers, Avery. You stuck them with a curse they can't break! Dissolving? The condition is fairly... simple. What? It obviously isn't! Everybody's still fucking cursed, boss! You are proof of my assertion, Avery. What do you mean, proof? Do you recall when we spoke about... the M-word? Do you remember what I told you? Might as well fuck sit down, yeah? Even when I do, he doesn't let go. I try not to stare at his hand while we talk. Okay, uh, something something, magic in the act of creation, right? There it is. Oh my god. Are you also cursed from giving straightforward answers? The book. Avery. It was in the book. Was there a spell? If there was, I did it by accident, you know? I mean, shit, I don't know what the fuck I read down. 
It's not a singular. It's the entirety. You need to discover your inspiration. And you did so quite admirably. But my magic is trash! Literally trash! Not as a value judgment, boss, but a, yeah, a literally trash! How is that my fucking inspiration? Are you telling me my inspiration is trash, boss? I was inspired much the same way. Well, during my second foray into creative endeavors, I salvaged scrap metal for a living and discovered I had, let's say, a knack. I leveraged that into sculpture. It served me quite well, you know. That's where all those came from? The sculptures are from quite some time ago. I lost my knack. Robbed of it, one could say. Someone took your magic then. Hmm. He's perverted his quite badly. You've seen his handiwork. I, I have? The, um, metal corrosion. Stay away from the relaxed metal, Avery. As far away as you can. It means he's near. Graves hasn't touched his food. I don't want mine anymore either, cause, you know, yeah, and... This is hard enough to digest that. What do you expect me to do? Or to say, boss? You put a curse on everybody, right? And then come to me for a favor? What do you... What do you want from me, bruh? I feel his hand claps around mine. It's so cold. I want to look away, but the touch of the cool... Cool, I mean, fingertip against the bottom of my chin forced me to freeze. I don't react as he gently tilts my face towards his, oh god! Help me, Avery. Please. I'm not enough. It occurs to me as I listen. I'm not looking at the face of the mastermind witch. There isn't much distance between us, but Graves implores me silently from side, no, from inside a void. An expression that says an abyss would be preferable. Those can end. He flinches away as if touch me or touching me has harmed him. What? Uh that was inappropriate. I'm sorry for my misconduct. I didn't bring you here to curse you. I think it's more inappropriate how hard my fucking heart fell down. No, 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 no it's uh, I, I, I don't know how I could help with this weird wizard battle, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but. I can at least, like, hear you out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Avery. Thank you. A sympathy ears is more than I've had for longer than I'd like to recall. So, uh, talk, boss. But I'm gonna eat, alright? The pasta's, like, getting cold, so, yeah. Be my guest. All these synonyms and this formal speech are exhausting when I'm hungry and, you know, overwhelmed. So I focused on dinner. I'm a bit surprised when he falls suit. He eats pasta. I still kinda thought he might be a vampire. He probably is a vampire, damn! <laughs> what, may I ask, is so funny? Uh, uh, oh, um, uh, I was thinking, so, uh, this change, or this changes, I mean, my image of you as some vampire dungeon master upside, yeah. Eric. Oh, dear. Is that how you see me? Yeah, I mean, f dude! You quote po at me, bruh, damn! You have skeletons in your basement. Actually, like, literal skeletons, you know what I'm saying? Your birthday's probably fucking Halloween, isn't it? November 1st. Dreadfully enough. Off by a day. See? Damn! I suppose it would help even less to tell you. I once was a vampiric dungeon master. 
What? No! What? Are you talking about Dungeons and Dragons or like a real shit? What? High school. I formed a group to play the role-playing game, Dracula's Rondo. No. No! Oh. Yes. No! Did, did, oh my god, did you wear a cape? And thanks. I amassed quite the Dracula costume. I wear it every Halloween. You dark child! You're in misery of the night, huh? And Grave laughs. Actually laughs. A deep throaty chuckle that raises the hair on the back of my neck. But it's not like that, you know. It's not bad. I've typecast myself. Old habits die hard, you know. You know, that's where Dracula got her name, too. I adore my tropes so much they become her namesake. You've had Dracula since high school? More or less. Wow. Damn. We need to, like, talk more about things besides magic, boss. I like this. Yeah. I'm afraid I've never been much of a conversationalist, but... Please, man. We both know that, you know, it's a blandly false. Ha. <laughs> Foiled again. This is way better. We joke and banter while we eat. It's the most relaxed I've ever felt in a while. When we finish, Graves takes the plates. He refuses my offer to help. Good, cause, you know, I only did it to look good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He opened a tiny fridge looking thing next to his regular fridge. Uh huh. Inside, four stacked bottles of what? Care of some wine? Oh! Oh, uh, I'm only 19, but I'm cool if you're cool, yeah? 19? I had no idea. Because, you know, I'm so mature, right? Something of that persuasion, yes? Yeah! Yeah! We can have coffee, though. I swear, half of my diet now is coffee and tea, damn. I'm gonna, like, turn into one of those people who gets headaches without their morning caffeine. Graves has one of those fancy coffee makers that probably cost a lot of money. It looks like an improved version of the one Aunt Wendy has. The one I never, you know, bothered with aside from heating water from ramen. <laughs> the motion to the carafe. Carafe. I better not, yeah. I should like get home and feed Mochi. He's gonna be really hangry soon, I'm saying, yeah. Then I gotta get some sleep since uh, I've got morning shift tomorrow, boss. Ah, if only there were someone here who could do something about that schedule. A manager or an owner, perhaps. Wait, uh, no, boss, no. I, I don't want special treatment, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's gonna look weird, so... You'll be receiving some regardless. You may have passed challenge, but you have much more to learn. Yeah? What are you gonna do, boss? I'd like you to teach the others. Uh, me? Why, why can't you? You started this, this whole shit, so go fix it, boss. I promise you. I wouldn't ask if I believed myself capable of reaching them. Huh. You, on the other hand, I love to teach you more. And to be frank, I believe I need to. No one would mistake you for a familiar. Well, uh, that doesn't sound ominous now, is it? But, uh, okay, uh... Yeah, whatever. Let's do this. I right? yeah. Excellent. We shall reconvene after work. Yeah, uh, sure. I don't have any plans tomorrow, you know. So yeah, it's a day, boss. Oh, not like that. I mean, well, allow me to see you out. Graves walks me to the entrance. Alas, I must deny myself the pleasure of walking you home tonight. There are eyes on us, and I'd rather their owner not assume I've taken a special interest. Special interest? What does that mean? The whole magic witch thing, right? Of course. Not as a, a boyfriend, boyfriend, that's right, wrong, wrong. He holds the door. 
Such a gently or gentlemanly goth. A gothly gentleman. Either way, yeah. Take care. Yeah. Night, boss. I'm more confused than I was. I was so sure he was this evil overlord with plans to take over the city or something, but now... I don't know what to think. He's been haunting my thoughts the whole time I've worked here. I've been non-stop analyzing his grandiose gesture, his turn to face, that crooked smile. And then he just... throws it all on the table, like a side salad, you know? Tells me over dinner, with candles and stuff? What the hell? And I liked it. I mean, uh, the curse stuff pissed me off, but... Shit, I don't know. Nothing is like I thought. Something's still off. It's just... I don't believe he couldn't fake the desolation I saw when he turned my face and looked into my eyes. My head spins, you know? I'm actually excited to come back tomorrow night. The grave is so... So different when we're alone. He's so calm. So subdued. Gentle. Like he doesn't have to put on a show for me. When he talks to me in this, that soft, low voice, it feels like his words have only ever been meant for me, you know? It makes my spine tingle. It makes my heart race. Oh, God. Shit! I've got a crush on my bows! My suspicion, eccentric, idiosyncratic, LARPing, elegant, handsome boss, yeah! hell am I supposed to do with that? I can't just ask him out or some shit. Not even like 100% convinced I can trust him. Like, yeah, I only like 65% trust him at best. What if he like trying to seduce me? What? With the, his stupid like mismatched eyes or his stupid elegant hands or his stupid smooth buzz or... No, no, no. Stop it, bruh. Speaking out loud helps, I guess, yeah, if I'm thinking of something and then I tell myself to stop. It's like rep reprimanding myself for doing the thing I shouldn't be doing. No, 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 it's your boss. Don't even bother, bro, damn. It's late, though. Most people are already home and the only people I have to worry about hearing this are currently cats. Cats would have no reason hanging out around here, yeah. Well now, that don't sound so good. A voice saw through the alley, low and rough, not only around the edges, but everywhere else. It sounds like it's being dragged through gravel, or covered in rust. Why don't you come and tell me all about it, eh? It's good to talk these things out, yeah? He steps forward. It's him! Yeah! The guy from before! I walk faster! Oh, come on, kid. You ain't gonna worry. Me and your boss, we got ways back. I can help you. Sorry, I have no clue who you are, and I guess I. What do you mean? No clue. You mean to tell me he don't talk about his. Old pal Notch. Notch. Am I reading this wrong or does he want me to say yes? This is weird. I'll ask Graves about him later if I have a chance, yeah. Um, we don't really, you know, talk about personal stuff, but, uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I get the impression there's a lot of things he can't talk about. I was, uh, yeah. I dropped a hint to feel him out, you know. A lot happened in the second. His eyes sparked like a ladder low on fuel. There's no flame in them, but a sneer rakes itself over his face. Then it's God. It's him. I turn away from him and find myself facing him. Like I never moved. My apartment has never felt further away, damn! Ah, uh, I gotcha. You think he got a reason for not talking? Gotta hurt my feelings like that, eh? I'm a real softy. Look, uh, why, like, don't you, like, come by tomorrow and talk to him, you know? I bet he'd be happy to see an old friend, I'm saying, yeah. Nah, don't like crowds, you know. Like to keep it intimate, yeah? Wouldn't know about that, would ya? 
Cause your relationship's professional, eh? Whoa, whoa, what? What, what are you even talking? What, what, what are you even talking about? Come on now, you know what? Don't be playing games. I'm not. Then you got nothing to hide, yeah? So it's fine. If I ask some friendly little questions like how he's doing, or why you're leaving his place so, so late. Uh, bye! I run. Yeah, peace, brother! Look at that! Damn kids don't know nothing about small talk. Oh my god! I don't hear anyone behind me, but I don't check either. I can't make myself stop running until I've slammed my door. Only after I locked and debolted it do I look through the people or while people to search for moving in the dark, but it's only a moment before I turn my back and slump against it. Any longer feels like begging for a jump scare. Yeah, my rabbit heart can't take that. And now, it was him. I know it. The guy who did it. That shadow looking over graves. I sink to the floor and hung my leg to the chest. Meow. Mochi is surprisingly understanding. Damn. He pads forward and gives my hand an insistent headbutt. Mochi, bruh. Look, man, I'm, I'm in over my head, you know what I'm saying? I should have never come to the city. Meow. I need to warn graves. I catch my breath, I have to call him, yeah. I let my head fall back against the door, squeeze my eyes shut, and take deep breaths. Mochi climbs into my lap, aggressively purring and making biscuits. I finish my phone out of my pocket, fish my phone out of my pocket. Oh, I don't know Graves' number. Fuck! Hell, I don't even know if he has a cell phone, damn! The cafe has a phone. You'll hear that, right? I call it, but nobody picks up. I call again, and again, as many times as it'll take. Hello? Graves! Graves, bruh! Boss, I mean, listen! I've never been happier you ever installed an answering machine, damn! It just feels so impersonal. What's wrong? Something must be if you're calling, yes. Okay, boss. Who's not? The line falls deadly quiet. Did I call drop? What? Did the call drop? What? There's a shanky XL on the other end. Shaky, I mean. I'll be right there. Don't go anywhere. Under no circumstances should you open the door for anyone else. What? 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 O okay, but... Click. Oh, fuck! Really, boss? It feels like hardly a minute passes when I heard the knock. <laughs> Avery, I'm here. Are you alright? Is it really you? Holy shit, that wasn't even a minute, Dial! I mashed my face back against the peephole. It looks and sounds like him, but who knows? There's probably spells for that, yeah? If Graves can't turn into a cat, Notch can't turn into Graves, I guess, ah! Uh... Astute. How about I recall something of which we've spoken in confidence? Yeah, but. Make it good, boss! Hmm. My Dracula's Rondo character was named Lord Ashenfall Ravensworth. That's the most graves thing I ever heard in my life! Damn! I throw the door open, relief flood over me. I kind of feel like crying. He looked over his shoulder, then leans in and gives me a crooked, reassuring smile. I cram a smile onto my face. Think about Lord Ravensworth. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're lying, right? There's no way anyone would admit that. Quite right. Perhaps someday I'll allow you to hear his true name. But let's save that for another time. May I come in? Uh, can't enter a house unless invited? I've heard about that. A card? Vampires are quite polite, you see. Hurry up and come in, boss. Thank you, I... His face falls in shock. He looks around, mouth agape. Good God. 
We must leave immediately. Huh? Is my room that bad? I mean, it is really bad, but Dive, you don't have to be that rude. He takes me by the shoulder, facing me towards him. Are you hurt? Were you here when it happened? I think he's checking me for injuries. What? Uh, this isn't good. My heart's gonna stop. Uh, uh, when, when what happened? What? You didn't tell me your apartment was breached. I never imagined he stooped so low, breaking in, entering. What? what? Avery, your apartment has been ransacked. Oh, jeez. I didn't consider what this messy ass apartment would look like to a neat freak tile. All the trash I learned to ignore suddenly leads back to attention. I kind of wish Notch had killed me to spare the embarrassment tile. Oh, oh, I, um... Uh, I, I don't know how to put the, put the pasta. Um... No, uh, it looks like that's all the time. I'll say, yeah. Oh. Oh. My apologies. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. Rub it in, boss. Why don't you damn? What happened with not? He coughs. As if I needed any more confirmation. What happened? Uh, he asked about you. Ah! I said he was like, oh, friend. I thought if he was your friend, why he's following me at night instead of coming to a cafe during the day? Oh, yeah. You're quite observant. I like that about you. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, did I just blush for a second? What the? F uh, what? Uh, don't think he followed me, but I don't know. Uh, that's the second time I've seen him while coming home. So, uh, yeah. Second time. I bite my lips and nod. Graves looks fit to kill. You and your cat should stay with me. Uh, uh, what? At your place? Of course. So many different possibilities and intentions zoom through my mind. What? My couch pulls out into a comfortable day bed. I can sleep there. If you prefer the bedroom. Oh, no, bro. Uh, the boss, no. Uh, the couch is fine for me. Yeah, uh, the couch is fine. Crashing on my suspicion. Handsome boss place in one thing by crashing his bed is a. Uh, my heart's under enough shit that it is now. So I can But yeah. Let me, like, pack some things and take a shower at least, you know? I feel really sweaty after that run in, you know? I'll speak with Mochi. He needs to know what's happening. Uh, I'm like, uh, third percent surprised that you can talk to him, but yeah, sure! Oh, and, uh, he's travel, just to let you know. Can you, like, talk to him about that, too? Of course. Okay, uh, I'll be back in, like, ten minutes, right, boss? I think best in the shower. I need this time to settle my mind and sort my thoughts out, you know? I stare at the tile wall and let the water pour over me for as long as I think I can without worrying graves. I just need to not think about anything for like uh, five minutes. No, yeah, I don't even bother dyeing my hair. I get dressed. Oh, drying my hair, I mean, yeah. I get dressed. Uh, shovel a few of my favorite outfit, dirty or clean, what is, right? Back into my duffel. Take a deep breath and head out to face graves. Oh! What? <laughs> what? What? Am I in the same apartment? Where'd all the trash go? The dirty laundry? The dishes? Oh, I... In retrospect, I should have asked for your permission. You, you did this, boss? That's correct. My apologies. Uh, you're sorry for cleaning up my mess? Why? I mean, holy crap, Graves. Uh, did you like vacuum? I didn't even hear the machine. There are enchantments. It takes no time at all. I'll make sure. It's the first trick I teach you. I'm not gonna worry about vacuuming while I'm being chased by a rusty witch, boss, so yeah. I'll, I'll, but still, I'll think about it, boss. I'll think about it. Yeah. Ahem. I suppose that should be everything? Shall we depart? Wait, uh, we, we gotta, like, wrangle Mochi. He's gonna be tough, you know what I'm saying? If you, like, corral him and, uh, uh, and I pounce with the carrier. 
No need. Isn't that right, my new friend? Gravesless Mochi's carrier. Where the hell did that? Where did where the hell did he find that? Uh, anyway, and shows off his portly Persian prize. Meep. M Mochi, how did you do that? Uh, I asked. Now, Mochi, remember what we discussed. This must be conducted with utmost discretion. I must ask your silence. Meep. Yes, yes, as we agreed. What did he, what he say? What? He enjoys the idea of sharing a can of tuna with the countess. He shared with the devil if it meant he got canned tuna? Damn! I don't enjoy the idea that Mochi and Graves can talk. Mochi definitely, definitely has dirt on me. Damn! I stare him down in a carrier, hoping my message gets through to his, to him, I mean, somehow. If you spill the kibble about me, I'm leaving you in the cafe forever, bro. Damn. Of course, he doesn't get it. He curls into a ball and closes his eyes. I know you're ignoring me, jerk. Goddamn. Before we depart, I'd like to say I'm sorry. My lack of foresight was irresponsible. Huh? I wouldn't have... Let you leave today, had I known he'd approached you. I hadn't thought. Graves' expression hardens, sturdy and grim, like a solemn statue in a cemetery. I don't suppose it matters what I thought. I'll not make the same mistake again. Look, Lord Ravensworth, it's okay, I... It's okay. I think I see his stony and... Exterior cracked. Not much, but a little. I mean, it freaked me out, yes, but nothing actually happened other than me getting a lot of exercise. Ah. I truly appreciate you. Thank you. Now then, I'm ready when you are. Yeah, um, ready. I sling my bag over my shoulder and make a quick... Mental list of everything I should have packed, then a quick prayer of or for what I inevitably forgot. And boy, do we hustle. Yeah. <laughs>